Gatlin Downey in the 37, bringing us to the green. The Mental Corps get a run. Get a win, and Ben Crouch is going to take the win here at Pocono. Side, side by side, side. The it's going to be oh, yeah, a right. lot of way. Huge push on the outside, 19. Nine. And then down to the stripe, it's going to be Mike Fink Jr. in number 38, winning. Moves him up. Here comes Jesse Orski to the inside. What's up everyone, it's your boy, and that's Racing95, aka Nathan Stephen Unit, and welcome everyone to Auto Club Speedway for race number 4 of 28 for season 3 of the NILA Red Bull Cup Series. We are here for the Auto Club 450 laps around this 2 mile D shaped oval, and we are in for a treat here today. Who will win? the fourth race of the season and, and get that fourth spot in the um, playoffs. We just have to wait and see. Um, last time out at Phoenix, about a, a week and a half or two weeks ago, um, it was the number 19 of Lajoy that got the big dub out in, um, in the Phoenix Sun. Now we, we are here at Alter Club and we have to wait and see if he can repeat. So far it's been a four. That one at Daytona, a Toyota, that one at Phoenix, and then a Chevy one at Atlanta. I know I did that in, in, I'm in the wrong order, but oh well. Um, basically, it's one win um, a piece for each manufacturer so far, so it's fairly even so far this season. No manufacturer and no team and no driver have really shown that they are, are the best driver at this championship. Um, about an hour ago, we saw the, the part-time qualifying race, and the, the four drivers that advanced on fever the qualifying race for the 81 of Sayer Diaz, the 66 of Ben Dover, the 53 of Jacob Thibodeau, and the 93 of Lane Sanders. Those were the four that made it, and um, they will all have a shot at winning here today at Auto Club. Um, so, after fans, he has had the points shake up going into race number four. Jake Gower, he has been very, very strong this season. No wins, but two top fives and three top tens. One of three, uh, one of two drivers with, with only, um, the three top tens. And he has an average length of 3.67, so Jake Gower has been dominant this season. Um, Really consistent. Have to see if he can continue that for the rest of the season. Um, he has a nine point gap over Mitchell Collins in second, but Shiro is in third, 10 points back. Um, fourth is Diego Yepes, 16 points back. Fifth is Christian Vargas, 30 points back. S um, sixth is Zachary Dodo, 32 points back. Seventh is Bob Evans, 33 points back. Um, 8th is White Quill, um, 34 points back, 9th is Noah Clifton, 36 points back, and the driver that was 10 from points, um, to us now, he was 37 points back, but he won't be after this race, as he failed to make it into, um, well, through the part-time race earlier tonight, so he will not be staying in 10th for much longer. So, with that being said, let's go with it. Let's go ahead and get these drivers more to life here at Fontana and let's get the All Club Foreman started here in the Rebel Cup Series for Season 3 of the Cup Series. Drivers, start your engines! All 42 cars will get war to life here at Auto Club Speedway and the starting grid will scroll from 
the bomb to the top of both screen um on the front row is Angel Ovella and the point is Jake Galloway, Ben Dover, and um Rob Evans. Then we have the fifteen of Whitefail and the double zero of No Clifton, sorry for the lag. Um Zachary Dolello in seventh and the two of Mitch Collins in eighth and the Majore and Mazenthal round out with number five. Fifty laps of racing here today at at on uh, at Auto Club Speedway. One hundred laps. One maybe two pit stops, probably two pit stops. Um and it's gonna be interesting to see of who can come out on top in this wild wild race track. It won't be as wild as it has been, but it's still gonna be pretty crazy. Never the nevertheless. So Will it be a full Chevy or Toyota? And will we see a recent winner or, or another different winner? And will a veteran or a rookie get the win? We have to wait and see. It all Joe Gibbs won't roll. Avila, Galloway, the All Club for one is green at Fontana. Ben Dover, the lead lap number one, he was dominant in the um, qualifying race an hour ago and he's all the way up front, here comes Zach Bigelow in the number eight, going to go to the race lead and Jake Galloway, he, he started on the outside lane but he uh, managed to not slip back on that, I'm on the outside lane and he is in third, the fourth now. But Ben Dover the part timer. Strong start for the um part timer. But we are only two laps in out of fifty. And he has a lot of company drivers right behind him. Here comes Stephen Collin, also close to a victory at Phoenix. But he got a close second, if I remember right. And he's always up I'm up to third on that number three. And you can just see these guys are going all over the place. Three, four, five wide, five or six different crews. And that's not going to change all day long. You will see that all day long without a question. Elson Palmer makes an eight fold move and he's going to try to make it three wide for second but he's not going to get there larger weight he's going to do a crossover and, and try to go for four so right now um, this is what we saw in the part time race once they went side by side behind him they um, the leader was able to pull away like three or four tenths and the same thing is happening right now. Watch away a aggressive three wide move, trying to take second away. And someone's in the wall back there, it looks like that might be the 34 of Quinton Moore. We saw that a couple times. It actually, no, that was the 24, my bad, that was the 24 of John Anders. Um, we saw that a couple times in the qualifying race, where the people got a little bit too high up um, in one and two and hit the wall. Trying to run the high side and sometimes it does not work. But so far, all five laps, it has led. Ah, Ben Dover has led all five laps so far here at Auto Club Speedway. Here comes the Phoenix Runner, Roger Lay, trying to take second away from um, his teammate Ovella and Colin. And he has a Toyota right behind him, Upsayo Diaz. 
he won the qualifying race and he's up for it now. And um, here comes Quentin Moore in the 34 as well. The 1 of DJ Reed, the 2 of Mitchell Collins, the 48 of Eli Bright, um, the 51 of Mark Davidson, the 5 of Johnny Garner, and several others coming into the mix. But you can just tell the outside lane is not really meant to be maybe the second or third lane, but once you get into the gray stuff, we're gone. And speaking of gone right now, that is what Ben Dover is doing right now. A fourth of a second gap, all because these guys keep on going side by side for second. Last time I Ben Dover had a three tenths of a second gap over Quentin Moore. And Drake Galloway's gonna make it four wide. Got a little bit tight between DJ Reed and Angel Ovella. And I don't know if someone got into the wall or what, but the pack back here got really spread out all um, all of the southern. But Quentin Moore, he has some really fast um, dot side forward. He has caught up to the back bumper of Ben Dover. And he might even have a shot to get by Ben Dover, and he will. But I don't know if he will be able to make it stick or not. Ben Dover... Oh, tried to do a crossover. I thought um, he was going to get one on the high side. He did, but he's going to do a, a crossover instead. And because of the battling, that's not um, allowed DJ Reed, Jake Galloway, Sir Diaz, y Yepes, and everyone else in this pack catch right back up and bent over still out front. But for how long now? Reed and Galloway with a massive, with, with a massive one. Galloway, he's been one of the strongest cars this season, one of the most consistent drivers. He hasn't won yet, but he's not really needed to. He's been quiet um, all race. And, um, well, in the th three races so far this season, and he gets it top 10 after top 10. Trying to keep that top 10 streak alive. But DJ Reed for Chip Ganassi Racing in the number one tried to take second away, but he's not going to be able to. Galloway still in that second position. And right now, no one's been able to challenge Bend over the only time that, that someone was side by side. With that system sits what's the 34 of Quincy Moore. But now the point near Jake Galloway trying to catch up with Ben Dover. A fifth of the way through the All Club 400. We are not even close to, to put this race away. Full we'll wide that there for fifth between Mitchell Collins. Um, Ben Watson who won the Canon Super Speedway Series race yesterday. Um, so he's having a great one here today as well as the fifth position. But right now, Jake Galloway, battle for the race three. Can, you, can someone actually get by, bend over, and, and hang on to it? I don't know. Still side by side for this race three. Here comes uh, the uh, Mark Davidson. He knows a thing or two about winning at, at Auto Club. He's done it, I think, once, maybe twice, but he's done it a couple times, I'm pretty sure. So he knows of how to get around this place. And Trick Gallery for, for the first time today, someone else other than that is out front, but is another Toyota of Trick Gallery. But Rob Evans is going to make it three wide for the race lead. Three wide. And. Who knows, maybe um, Ben Dover might get involved in this mix. But, um, the 51 got a massive one through the middle one. He's going to keep the race lead. And Ben Dover trying to take throws away from Jake Galloway. Here comes Benny Watson out of nowhere in another 14. He, he comes in to this race 11th in points. So um, he has been having a pretty strong season. Here comes Bob Evans in the 65. 
trying to take the whistle away from Mark Davidson. But here comes Ben Dover once again, trying to go three wide into turn three from MP Will. But these tires are starting to get a little bit older and it's starting to become more multi groove racing. Still side by side, I believe Rob Evans led that lap. And he did by a matter of inches. But now Ben Dover will take the race lead away. Mitchell Collins up to second. But while on Clickmore instantly makes it three wide. And that's actually gonna help Benny Watson um from um help from help from Galloway and now Watson up to second. Trying to sweep the week and give out all of it. I don't know if that's ever happened to the in the line away. Bent over out front though. This, this is the strongest we've seen a part time of one that I'm in the race so far this season. And he's absolutely dominant right now. But I think some of these guys, like um, Watson and Galway, I I think these guys have a plan or something. Sure, different things, different manufacturers, but they have been working together two or three times now on that bat stretch, and looks like they're going to try to tag team um, against the 66 here. Or maybe not. Jake Galway going to make it side by side for second place. So for 17 laps in the books here, well 16 laps in the books, and Ben Watson going to do a crossover and try to take second away from Jake Galloway. How about Mitchell Collins? He is in fourth place, they turn five on the champion. Here comes John Garner, no Christian, Zap Wrinkle, Brett Sewa, um, and some more drivers that we haven't seen yet, like the 22 of Bradley Ream. The three of Elijah Gordon, or the um, the twelve of Boston Minute, the ninety-five of um, push the focus as the thirteen is into the outside wall. But as you can see, these tires are really, really old right now. Seventeen laps on tires. I mean, they're not really that old. They're only like three or four tenths off. But these guys are really getting spread out here at our club. And who knows, um, depending on how this race goes, it could go cost them three. We've seen that happen before here at our club, so I'm going to be just watching, but here comes Drake Galloway. Once again, trying to take the race lead away from Ben Dover. We saw how strong he was in the Daytona 500, and he is looking bad fast right now in the Auto Club 400. Here comes Johnny Garner, I'm up to third, and Quentin Moore and Garner are pretty good friends. Um, Quentin Moore lets Garner in, and Garner's going to make it three wide for the race lead, but now Clifton's going to make it three wide for fourth place. Intense battling here at Auto Club. And we are only at, I'm at the line 20 laps in. We should have 30 laps to go at the line. Going to, to the race lead in the number 5. And here comes Quinton Moore trying to take second away from Galloway and Clifton. I believe the 47 did tap the outside wall a little bit in 1 and 2. That's the only place that they're doing it too, so... It's not a... Um... And pit stops have begun. Um, Jake Galloway is going to pit. And Johnny Gunn is going to take the... Is going to keep the race lead. We 
Noah Clifton in second, Penny Watson in third, Rob Emmons in fourth, and Farkas in fifth. So that means with these guys pitting on that 20 to 21 and 22, this will be a two stop race if it goes green. And that is almost the whole field pitting. It looks like the 41 of Kukumon has a hood buckle. So maybe there's some multiple breaks going on to pit road with the amount of people that, that went on to pit road. And oh no, Josh Williamson blows up. Big kaboom for that 43 team. Pretty sure he was about to pit as well. And now he is going to end his day in the garage. But um, a couple people stayed out. I'm only three, and those were the 24 of John Andrews, the 52 of Bob, um, of Yepes, and the 17 of Daniel Voyles. But besides that, everyone else is in here at, here at our club. Just the FYI, um, sorry if you might have put a cat fight in the background. Um, I don't know what happened, but, um, if, if you a, like, Growl, then that's what it was. Um, but, but anyway, um, Noah Clifton, Ben Watson, and Johnny Garner will all, well, not Noah Clifton, but for Watson and Garner, they will take, um, they will cycle out as the way sweet it looks like if they can beat Diego Yopez. And they will. So Ben Watson, he won the KM and Super Speedway Series race yesterday, trying to go two in a row in the NIA and sweep the weekend here at Auto Club. But Jake Galloway is going to have to stay, um, is going to have something to say about it though. Three walk of the way three. And here comes Bronson Minnick in the number 12. Where did he come from? Got a great pit stop and now he's um, in this top 5 battle. Um, Elijah Gordon got a great pit stop. Roger Way. Mitchell Collins. Not Mitchell Collins, but um, Bradley Ream got a great pit stop. Christian Vargas. Diego Yopez. John Andrews. Rob Evans. Oh, I'm alive. Do I just got three good pit stops, but one driver that got a bad pit stop, and I think he just, um, spit some damage, was the 13 of both men on the That's no help, and because of that, he's about 10 miles per hour. He's, he's about 10, um, mile per hour slower than Jake Galloway. Madison Tall got a bad pit stop. Uh, um, and then we have this three called back of Mark Davison, Alexander Wall, and Lane Sanders. And then this three called back of uh, Special Kukon, who I think I saw a hood buckle, and yeah, he still has a hood buckle, so something happened um, during the pit stops. We will, we will look at that either at the first caution or at the end of the race. I mean, like, White is in the bat. Um, say Diaz is in the bat. So there's just multiple different paths right now here at all club and the way it's looking this race could very really well go caution three and stay green to the end, but who knows? Stuff can happen here at, at all club and we're and we we'll actually gonna catch up to the thirteen right now and, and he's gonna go one lap down. Connor is going to use a pick, but no, Clifton is going to get a good one in um, the middle of turn one and two. But yet, yeah, but he has no help. Gallery's been really strong, uh, um, p pushing people out front, and he did the same for going up and out. Um, Gallery is going to try to take the race lead back, 
and it looks like Ghostman Hobbin, he looks to be okay when he's in the draft, he was just slow because he had no drafting help. With this package, that means a lot, and especially with Hila at um, all close. Ghost Muhammad trying to get his lap back and trying to get a caution and now um, Elijah Gordon on the inside lane maybe he will help his um, alliance teammate get out, out front and it looks like that's what he's going to do never mind he's actually going to go and try to pass him here and Jake Galloway through the middle no Ghost Muhammad blocks now this is right now this is what the 13 team needs, they need a caution, but I don't know if we're going to get that. Okay, here comes Bradley Green to the inside of Elijah Gordon. Two rookies in the field, battling for this race. We actually, the top three are all rookies. And then the first battling is Benny Watson and fourth. But Elijah Gordon for all CR out front with 20 laps to go in the All Club 400. Ben Watson way up the race track, almost touched the wall. Stapleton Lane did fly like to call it now. Um, Stapleton Lane, Wilson Lane, high side, whatever you want to call it, inches away from top side. And inches away from the wall, but that's an impossible and he's gonna go all the way to the back of this pack. Galloway, Weem, and Focus, and um, everyone else in this pack trying to catch up to Elijah Gordon. The draft is Billy Key, 192 miles per hour, going into turn number one, and uh, now Bradley Weem is gonna try to make it three wide right for the race lead. Oh man, tried sliding up, but focus was there. And oh my goodness, that's almost four wide. That is four wide. Noah Clifton sent it into three and four. Now the four wide for second. Holy smokes. And that is exactly what um, Drake Galloway wants, is for him to keep on battling like, like that. And oh my goodness. Killing this place, it's full wide again. This small pack, it might seem small, but they are getting the most out of it. Three and four wide. Holy smokes. The one out, Jake Galloway. Dominating, not really dominating, but he's had a really strong color. Always long. Top three, top five color. And heck, he's had a, he's had a top five, top ten color all season so far. So another great one for Jake Galloway and um, for this number 11 team. Probably gonna catch up with Max and Paul pretty soon. About a second, a lap faster than him. All because um, of Tall being in a single car pat all by himself and something happened to the 53. Something happened to the 53 of Jacob Thibodeau. Tough break for Rick Ray Racing and in the number 53. We have to wait and see. Um, Josh Williamson blew up by a, a um, piston. So that's unfortunate for the 43 team. Don't know yet on what caused the problem. If it was an engine failure or what. On, I'm on the 53, but a tough way in. Um, how about this? Toyota is 1, 2, 3, and Joe Gibbs Racing is 1, 2. Where did Roger Ray come from? The Phoenix winner, 20 to go 2 in a row, and 20 to go 2 in a row in the West Coast ring. But here comes Johnny Garner, he's going to make it 3 wide per second. 15 laps to go. And we still have to make a second pit stop in about 5 to 8 laps if it goes caution free. Now Christian Volk is up to second. 
and Moppy, ah, and Charlie Collins, and third, I don't know why I call him Moppy, um, and that, I'm very, see Madison Tall s slowly catching up to her, if she had a dragon partner, we wouldn't be catching up to her, but, because of how big this pack is, um, uh, of how big this pack is, she's gonna get swallowed up, but it should be the same situation with the 13, though. Cause he's in this pack and he's doing just fine. But now here comes Christian Vogus to the side of the number 95. Trying to take the race lead away from Jake Galloway. And Johnny Gunn is not helping the 11 at all. No help on the outside lane and now Jake Galloway is going to fall back a little bit. You pass out one thing to ground on, because here comes Noah Clifton and the double zero. And as I'm tall, it looks like she's going to go a lap down here. Um, but maybe not, who knows. But just of how fast and how strong this pack is, she won't be able to stay up front in... in um, and on the lead lap, that wall. You know, a person officially takes the race lead, and they are four wide right behind him. Jake Galloway and Bradley Ream trying to, to battle it out for second place. And now, no, Clifton's going to put a, um, trying to put tall one lap down. Eleven laps to, to go in the all uh, in the all club four hundred. Um, a very interesting race for sure. Um, caution free up to this point. Um, not like of how testing was. Um, in testing, I, I got like two or three cautions in, in every test race, but I mean. Blame it on and off, but it's been really, really back and forth and really um, entertaining though, well, that's for sure. And as entertaining as this race has been, we only have 10 laps to go in the All Club 400. And the Aussie of Noah Clifton is out one. Um, Washaway is in second, Elijah Gordon in third, and that's four wide right behind him. Mass Tall is one lap down, but who knows, she might be able to get her lap back here if she can get by Noah Clifton. Featherlands are 1 2, and then we have a rookie of Elijah Gordon, and then a, um, another veteran. So there's, there's only one veteran inside the top six. Ah, no. That. There's only one rookie in the top six. Five out of the top six are veterans. So the veterans are really showing up here today at our model club speedway. Coming to eight laps to go this time by and who knows we, we should be seeing rounds to pit stops at any moment. Let's see what um, does anyone pit this time by? Does not look like anyone's gonna pit. So, not, um, no one pits this time by at least. And, but, we have to wait and see if they will pit this time on, on lap number 43. Pat does not pit, but what about the rest of the field? It, it should be any moment now. If they don't pit this lap, then surely they will pit next lap. And if they don't pit next time by, then oh geez, I don't know. It might be a few miles race. 
But meanwhile, up front, Wajaway trying to take the race lead away from Noah Clifton. And Wajaway is going to pit, Noah Clifton's going to pit. And here we go, pit stops on that 44. And this is where things get interesting. Six laps to go. Who will make it? I doubt anyone will be able to make it. But this is the money stop. Who will win the race off a bit more and cycle out as the race leader with just two or three laps to go? Your pez out front, but assuming that he will pit this time by or next time by, he won't be leaning for long. And there it, he goes, he's in, and now it's going to be between John Andrews and Johnny Garner. Um, John Andrews, we saw him get into the wall fairly early on in 1 and 2, and now he is battling for the way to be between himself and Johnny Garner. So Osman Ahmed, he's trying to get his lap back, and maybe hopefully caution, but then again, if we get a caution out, it would not really matter since it's under 5 laps to go. And oh, Jesus, Johnny Garner into Bradley Ream. And oh, Johnny Garner just turned Bradley Ream. And oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ho, no, Benny Watson. He had nowhere to go after that. Got into the 22. Still green. Amazing job from those guys, but unfortunate. Great for, um, for Bradley Ream. And Ben Watson. He was having such a great one. And unfortunately, that's going to end his day here at, uh, I'm up at, uh, here at Auto Club. Tough break for Ben Watson. But now we have this 22 call that might cause some um, situation here. Um, there's Johnny Garner, he's not gonna be the race leader. And I think Roger Way might be the race leader. I think Roger Way's gonna be the race leader. We have to wait and see coming to three laps to go. Is Roger Way gonna be leading? And yes, he will. The Phoenix winner. He won at Phoenix two weeks ago. And now he's trying to go two in a row. And go two in a row in the West Coast swing. An amazing pit stop. And with three laps to go, it's coming down to three veterans. Ray, Yapez, and Fogas, the top three. Elijah Gordon in third. Garner in fourth. Clifton in fifth. Um, D DJ Reed in 6th, Brett Sealer in 7th, Jake Galloway in 8th, Mitch Collins in 9th, and then right now Rob Evans in 10th. And if these guys, um, the focus on your pets, they need to just stay single file if they want to have any shot at K um, catching up to Roger Way with one and a half laps to go. But this would be incredible. We didn't really see Roger Way at all that much in this race. And now, you got a great pit stop, and he might be in a prime shot at going two in a row here in the Rebel Cup Series. White flag, final lap for the Season 2 Rebel Cup Series champ, Roger Way. He won last time out at Phoenix, Arizona, and in about half a lap. If he keeps it clean and green and does not blow up, he will get another win in the Rebel Cup Series, and he will go two in a row. What a start to the season for Wadjoy. He won the Power Clash, he won the Council he gets 500k, last time out, and now, here today, Wadjoy will win the Auto Club 400. What a season so far for Roger Way. Bat to bat now. And he might be showing 
to everyone that he is one of the heavy favorites for this championship, trying to become the first ever bat, bat champion in any series in the NIOA. A caution free race, um, but it was very, very exciting. And Roger Way for Joe Gibbs Racing goes two in a row in the Red Bull Cup Series. An amazing job from Roger Way. And um, he gets his second win on the season and back to back as well. He can he win at Las Vegas and sweep the West Coast Wing? We, we just have to wait and see. Um, but that's going to be a good one at Las Vegas. First time the Rebel Cup series is returning there since season number one. Roger Way gets the job done. Your Pez in second. Fogus third. Going to um, fourth. Clifton fifth. Um, Gordon in sixth. Galloway in seventh. Four top tens for Galloway. Incredible, he should be the point leader still. Um, Quentin Moore in 8th, Rob Evans in ninth, and DJ Reed in 10th. Mitchell Collins, who was the other guy that had three top 10s coming into this race. Also close of, of gaining four straight top 10s, but he comes home in 11th. Ben Dover, the, the highest puck time driver, the only one in, inside the top 28. Great job for him here today. Bobby Frazier in 13th. Brett Sewer 14th, Sat Winkle 15th, Minnick 16th, Weems 17th, Colin 18th, Chastain 19th, and John Andrews in 20th. 36 cars finish on the lead lap. Tall and Hamid were the only ones that finished one, one lap down. Um, Benny Watson, he, he, he retired. We saw what happened to him um, with that incident. Unfortunately, um, apparently Daniel Bowling has some kind of tire issue. Um, I took him out of the race. Uh, Jacob Thibodeau, he blew up. It was a foul. And then, um, Josh Williamson, he blew up. It, and it was a systemic failure. So, I'm going to make the Awesome three race here today at Auto Club Speedway. But what a race. Very fun back and forth with us, Sam Forrest Lottie. Watch away, go back to back in the Rebel Cup series. And what a race, that's for sure. Thank, thank you guys so much for watching the Auto Club 400. Congratulations once again to Watch Away on being second win on the season. And uh, that's, all I, that's all I have to say. Next time out, it will be Las Vegas for the Power Cup Series. Finally, pa the Power Cup Series comes back after three or four long weeks. Um, and then the Rebel Cup Series will be there at Las Vegas for the first time in season number one. That will be most likely this weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. Um, so you don't want to miss that. I'm finally motivated once again, and it's gonna be fun all summer long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Watch Away on money we are for 40. And until Las Vegas, I will see you guys next time. Bye! You ain't ready for me! Get me your